How can we embrace suffering? Hi, my name is Father Christopher Plant. I am the pastor of St. Bartholomew Catholic Church in Katy, Texas, and you are watching this homily afterthought with Conversing Clergy. You can find the link from my homily from this last weekend down below on YouTube and above on Facebook. And while you are at it, feel free to follow on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube and hit that bell on YouTube to receive notifications whenever we go live or publish our videos. So last week, I preached about the transfiguration, which shows to us the glory of Jesus. But within that same event, Jesus tells his disciples to not speak of that to anyone, to not say a word to anyone until after the Son of Man is raised from the dead. And after he tells them that, they go down from the mountain back down to the valley. The reality is that it was his will that they go down into the valley of his suffering and death before even mentioning the transfiguration moment so that they could be ready for the resurrection. The glory of his resurrection and his excruciating death are two sides of the same coin. This truth shows us how to embrace suffering. When I was in uh, Cuernavaca, Mexico, I went on an excursion in the countryside, and that part of Mexico is surrounded by mountains and steep hills. And being from the Houston area, I really wasn't familiar with that kind of uh, geography. And I remembered as we traveled, we were pretty high up on a mountain. And it was around 7 o'clock in the evening, and the sun hadn't set yet, but it was getting lower in the horizon. And at the same time, as it was lower in the horizon, it was still shining on us as we were riding in the bus. So the whole bus was just lit up with sunlight. Yet when I looked down over the window, out the side of the mountain, I saw a low valley. And it was darkened by the shadow of a mountain that was over off on the other side. And it struck me to see sunlight all around us on the mountain but darkness in the valley. And the darkness was actually the shadow of the shining mountain that was on the other side. This is a powerful image, I think, of the reality of the connection between suffering and glory, between death and resurrection. The dark valley sits at the foot of the bright mountain, and it does not stay in darkness forever. At the threshold of the light of the resurrection stands the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, elevated on the hill of Golgotha, overlooking all who dwell in the dark valley of the shadow of death. And the cross calls us to it, calls us to embrace it. That is the secret of suffering well, of embracing suffering. It's the cross. Embrace the cross. By embracing the cross, we embrace our own sufferings, but we embrace them and see our sufferings as instruments, not obstacles in our lives. So I offer you a few practical things to do in prayer in order to embrace the cross. The first is to simply pray words of embracing. It could be something like, Lord Jesus, I offer up my sufferings in union with, or with yours, to do with them as you will. Or it could also be, Lord Jesus, I offer up my sufferings in union with yours as penance for my sins and for the salvation of souls. A second thing you, to do, you can do is to grab a cross and hold it in your hands when you are enduring great suffering. This can be a cross at the end of a rosary or it can be a crucifix that you keep next to your bed. In this way, you are literally embracing the cross. And the third is to pray the stations of the cross regularly, perhaps every Friday. See, this devotion is not for Lent only. It can be prayed all year round. I have actually heard that St. John Paul II would pray it daily. Embracing suffering can be so difficult. 
but thankfully it's not complicated. It is a simple reaching out to Jesus himself on the cross. And when we do this, we're not just embracing his cross, we're embracing his love, his love for you and for me. Love which takes us to the mountain of the resurrection, lifting us out of the valley of the shadow of death. I hope this homily afterthought was helpful for you. If it was, be sure to hit that thumbs up button to like the video. My name is Father Christopher Plant, pastor of St. Bartholomew Catholic Church in Katy, Texas. You are watching this homily afterthought with Conversing Clergy. Remember, because he loved us first, we seek to do his will. Here I am at your door. Would you let me in?